Hey y'all, Dr. Daria here. You can give me a lot of reasons why you don't want to wear a mask. I hear these all the time. It's hot. Uh, it makes it harder to show off a new lip color you just bought. Um, it makes it harder to drink your grande mocha cup of frate frappuccino. It makes you kind of sound like the teachers in Charlie Brown. I get it. And while I may disagree with the judgment of those reasons, I see the facts behind them. But what I won't allow is for people to use pseudoscience and masquerade it as science as a reason that they don't want to wear their masks. And I'm talking about some of the posts I've seen on Facebook and Instagram, talking about people saying that they put on their masks and they had dangerously low levels of oxygen and dangerous heart rates. So I figured, we do a little experiment because I do wear a mask for about eight hours at a time in the emergency department. All my surgeon friends wear masks for hours on end in the OR. I figured I would see what happens when I wore a whole parade of masks. Let's go see. So here I'm at rest. You can see 99 to 100% heart rate of 70. Let's throw on a mask and see what happens. All right, since most of you may be wearing this kind of mask, I wanted to try this one as well. So let's see. 99 to 100% heart rate 73. Aside from the fact that I'm running around in here getting all these different masks, nothing has really changed. Oh yeah, you wanna see me go up and down some uh, a chair, just like you having to go around do your errands or anything else? Yeah, let's do it. Let's see what happens. See what happens when I'm wearing my cloth mask. I'll try not to run into anything. Still able to do it. It feels funny. Yeah, it feels warm around my face, but 99%, my heart rate went up a little bit, but that's to be expected because I'm climbing up and down a two foot chair. There you go. All right, now I have a surgical mask on. I've had it on for a couple of minutes. You'll see my oxygen level still 100%. My heart rate, 85. I've been moving, I'm still moving things around here. So my heart rate's still a little bit up because I'm being pretty active, but you can see my mask is not doing anything about my oxygen saturation. It's not doing anything with my heart rate either. 99 to 100%. Surgical mask didn't seem to make much of a difference there. Let's trade masks. All right, now I got my N95 mask on. You may not be able to understand me at all. This is the airtight mask. This is the one people talk about really rebreathing your air. My heart rate's 75. My oxygen saturation is 99 to 100%. No impact to my oxygen levels. All right, so most of you probably aren't wearing this mask. This is my respirator when I'm doing specific procedures in the emergency department. But I was curious to see what would happen, and you can see, 100%. So there you have it, my little simple experiment. Remember y'all, it's science, not speculation. Proof, not politics. And above all, that gives us the voice of reason. And we need that and a little level-headedness more than ever right now. Let me know what questions you have when it comes to masks or anything else, COVID or health related. Make sure to follow here so you get all the videos, all the information you need to make your life healthier, better, and easier. I'm Dr. Daria, and I'll see you next time.